Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you doing? Hello, Patty. Hello, nice, nice teacher. Okay, good, good. Nice to, to hear that. Okay, welcome everyone to your class. Today we are starting a new unit. We are starting unit four. It's the last unit of our manuals. It's the last unit in this module too. Okay, so it's really exciting to be in this moment. Okay. So we are going to take the, I am going to uh, take the attendance. And after that, we are going to start, okay? I would ask you please to turn on your cameras and also say present when you hear your name, okay? Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present teacher. The, the, uh, perdón, Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present teacher. Ok. Um, David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present teacher. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present, teacher. Ok, Juan Diego. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present teacher, soy linda. Okay, Linda, I'll check you in already. Okay, thank you. Okay, people. Oh, okay, Grecia. 
I will do it. Okay, everyone, we are going to start the class for tonight. And uh, just let me go back here. Okay, here we go. So today we are starting a new unit, right? Just remember unit one, we were learning about work related events. We studied uh, the simple present. We described our obligations and needs. And then we studied ongoing activities at the workplace, okay? Also, we were uh, studying the adverbs of frequency, right? We uh, learned how to express how frequently we um, do some activities in our workplaces. And unit three, last unit, was about scheduled events at the workplace. So we were studying the present continuous. And also we contrasted the um, present continuous with the simple present usages. And we said that the simple present is to describe activities in our routine day, okay? Things that we always do, our obligations, right, our functions, and uh, we use present continuous to talk about scheduled activities, okay? So we are talking about future, near future with the present continuous. The second usage or the first and principal use, usage of present continuous is the things that are happening at the moment that I am speaking, okay? At, at the moment that I'm saying or talking about those things. So how do we differentiate that? How can we make the difference between those? Uh, remember the time expressions? So that's the key to have the difference between the present continuous for things that are, are happening right now, things that are happening in the future, like next day, uh, next week or tomorrow, for example. And then the last usage was for temporary situations, okay? And also time expressions are the difference between them, right? So the unit that we are starting tonight is tech support. Do you know what tech support is? What is tech support? Support you know? technology. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is, what is the department in charge of giving that support? The technological support. What is the department in charge? of support system engineer system okay engineer of system. okay yeah and also um it's called it okay information technology okay it okay. department okay the it department is the one in charge of providing tech support, technological support, okay? 
Now, after saying that, like tonight class is to learn ways to report a problem, okay? Ways to report a problem, okay? We can report in different ways, right? In different ways. But we are going to learn, we are learning some phrases, useful phrases to report a problem in our work areas, okay? So this is class number 16. And remember, we are in module two, okay? Then the goal for tonight. A ver, vamos a ver cuál es nuestro objetivo. Which one is our objective? In the whole unit, and toda esta unidad, our main or specific objective is uh, to express common tech support problems and how to report them by phone, okay? Tonight, we are going to be able to report a problem via telephone, but the most important thing is to identify what is a problem and what is not a problem uh, to call tech support because you can do troubleshooting, okay? So let's see the agenda for tonight. The agenda for tonight in our 16 video conference is we're gonna do a short feedback, okay? This short feedback will be um, include, including a game online about questions, WH questions with the present continuous. Then we are going to have a conversation time, okay? We are going to learn um, common issues in the workplace. Issues is a problem, okay? Issue is a problem. Issues, lots of problems, okay? And this phrase is important. I would like to report a problem. We're going to use it a lot to learn how to report a problem to tech support. Okay, I introduced unit four at the moment. So we are going to pass to our feedback, okay? So let's go then to the present continuous feedback. And let's remember the structure, okay? Let's remember the structure. And let's give a complete answer to these questions, okay? Let's use the information we have in the parentheses, okay? In parentheses. So here we are. This is just a feedback, remembering, okay? Let's read the instructions. It says, give a complete answer to the questions. We are going to use this information to give our answers, okay? So let's start with number one. Number one. What are they doing? Excellent. They mm -hmm. a phone. Great. Okay. There we go. Lo vamos a hacer mejor sin la tabla. Okay, it's complicated to, for me. Okay, here we go. What are they doing? They're singing a song. Okay, great. Number two. 
What are the supervisors doing tomorrow? Hmm? The supervisor checking the inventory. Okay. They. Again, can you repeat, please? The supervisor checking the inventory. Okay, are we talking about one supervisor or more than one supervisors? Um, I think more. Okay, so it's plural, right? Yes. Okay, then we are going to use R, okay? The supervisors are mm -hmm. checking the inventory. Excellent. Okay, I love R. Yes, because it's plural, okay? Like they, right? Mm -hmm. Si solo fuera uno, then we can use is, okay? Number three, guys. When are you having lunch with the new clients? Okay. So what is the answer? <laughs> mm -hmm. I have. I am having uh, on Friday. Okay, I am. Okay, it was Linda, right? The one who was uh giving the answer, right? And Patty, right? Uh, yes, sure. Okay, uh huh. Aquí utilizamos el presente continuo porque así nos lo están preguntando, ¿verdad? Eh, thank you very much, Patty. That's the correct answer. I am having... Uh -huh. Lunch. Uh -huh. With the new client on Friday. Next Monday, okay? Next Monday, porque es la información que nos dieron que usáramos, ¿verdad? It's okay if you say on Friday, but uh, the information is right here, okay? I am having lunch with the new clients next Monday, okay? Number four. What is your husband doing in the supermarket? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? He's doing. Aquí tenemos el, la información en el paréntesis. Okay. Mick. Okay. Excellent. He's buying milk. Good. Number five. I am trying to new employees. Correct, That's, that is the answer, okay? So let's read the 
question and the answer. And for that, I am going to ask two people. Al primero que menciono dice la pregunta y al segundo que menciono dice la respuesta, okay? So, tell me and Pablo. What are they doing? Sorry. Pablo? Oh, he's hearing. Roxana, please. They, they are singing a song. Singing, singing, okay? They are singing a song. No es como con Y, sino que es con una G, ok? Singing. Singing. Excellent. Singing. Mm -hmm. Singing a song. Okay. They are singing a song. Excellent. Podemos usar las contracciones, ok? Todos en lo más posible hay que usar las contracciones cuando hablamos, ok? So, number two will be for David and Grecia. Okay, I see you are having this trouble with the connection. This is Thank you very much, Grecia. Thank you very much, David. I see you are having trouble with the connection. Okay, then number two, Mayra and Alba, please. What are the su supervisors doing tomorrow? The supervisors are checking the inventory. Okay, good. Number three, please. Um, Hoy sí eh, estoy teniendo un grave problema, a ver, porque yo no he recibido ninguna notificación de ninguno que eh, no iba a poder estar en la clase y que solo iban a estar de oyentes, chicos. Y así pues sí se me dificulta, <ríe> se me dificulta porque la idea es que todos practiquemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, nadie I me envió Sí, pero no lo miro aquí, perdone. Ah, vamos a ver, hoy sí, discúlpeme, Marco. One second. No problem. Ok. Thank you, Marco. Ok. Marco and Cecia, please. Number three. Ok. Um, where are you having lunch with the new clients? I am having lunch with the new client next Monday. Thank you very much. Number four, Nestor and Marco again. Ah, I see Linda. I'm sorry, Marco. Uh, Nestor no and Linda. Okay. What is your husband doing in the supermarket? He is budging milk. Excellent. Number five, please. Um, but Patty and it will be Marco, okay? What are you doing in New York next week? I'm training the new employees. Great, I wanna go with you, Marco. Can you take me with you <laughs> to New <laughs> York, please? <laughs> okay, did you? Okay, great. Um, Okay, guys, these are some questions using the present continuous, okay? So now we are going to do an online game, okay? An online game, and it's about questions too, okay? It's about questions. Just let me go out from here. One second. I'm going to close this window and we are going to, to um, this is like a quiz. 
this is like a quiz. Uh, we played once a game like this one. So I prepared these other um, list of questions. And what you have to do is to check the correct WH word that matches with the, um, in the conversation, okay? Van a chequear la respuesta de la, de la palabra de pregunta que corresponde. ¿Se recuerdan de las palabras de pregunta? WH questions, words. Uh, WH question words are what, when, who, where, where why, how, how, correct. So we are going to use these words and we are going to place them in the correct way. And there are others that you are going to check if it is a he, if it is a she, okay? Then uh, it's very interesting. It's only a, a questionnaire of 10 questions. So it will be easy. Let's see, we need to practice this. So here we go. Van todos a Google. Por favor, bueno, voy a intentar sacarles el, el link directo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't allow me to wait. There we go. Oh, it's it. Me va a dar el link. Vamos a ver. Es que a veces lo he sacado antes de la clase y cuando ya lo vamos a utilizar se traba. Entonces, tengo que hacerlo al momento que vamos a jugar. Ok. Here we are. Oh, okay. Here it is. Click on the link and add join to the quiz. Okay, join to the quiz. It's about question word, um, present continuous questions. Okay, uh, information questions. Sorry. Where is the link? It's right here in the chat um, Zoom. I can see. Can't you see it? Oh, I sent it directly to Roxana. Okay, one second. Everybody okay. in the meeting. Thank you very much, Juan Diego. Here it is. No uh, let me try to do it through WhatsApp. Maybe I can send it. If you cannot do it through WhatsApp, uh, through Zoom chat. Okay, let me see. There it is. Okay, there is the link. There it is on the WhatsApp chat too. En ambos lados lo puso, ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you may click on the one that it's better for you. Okay, empezamos ya. No, you tell me if you're ready for me to start, okay? 
Solo ponemos el nombre. Yes, please. Are you ready? Sí, ponen su nombre y le ponen entrar, ¿verdad? O enter. I don't know if, if, if it says start or something. A mí me parecía el nombre. Really? Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe it's because of your of your um, account, Google account, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't see people here. Does mine connect? Are you connected already? It's kind of low, right? Okay, I see Ariel, Daisy, and Alba, Linda. So you're 11, right? Let's see here. Um, but we are 14. So tell me who is not in yet. And if you want, we to wait for you. Okay, one, two. Three, four, I think five. Okay, it is okay. We're gonna start already, okay? Here we go. So let's start, guys. Three, two, and okay, very good. Go.
uh, I finished the chat. It's done, teacher. Okay. Yeah, I see here. Yes. I feel it, teacher. Okay. We are just waiting for two more. Finish. Two. Okay, great. Finish. Hay otras preguntas. No sé si hay que contestarlas, teacher. Fichas de estudio, dice. One second. Oh. Okay, only one person is missing. Uh -huh. Only one person still filling it up. Okay, one person still working here. Let's see who's still working. Okay, guys, do you have any question about this game or the, the vocabulary in this game? Was it everything okay? Everything is okay. Excuse me? It's okay, teacher. Ok, good. Bien, la calificación que obtuvimos todos en equipo va ahorita, permítanme. Uh, la calificación entre todos, 87. Ok, 87. 87 present, 86, because someone has finished at this moment, ok, has just finished. So 86 of precision, ok. 86. Vaya, si se portan bien mañana, vamos a hacerlo otra vez. ¿Ok? <ríe> ok. <ríe> um, esta es nada más para recordar y mantener, ¿verdad? La práctica de utilizar las palabras WH Word y recordar la estructura de las WH Questions for the Present Continuum. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo es la estructura? A ver, veamos cómo es la estructura de una pregunta de información usando el presente continuo. A ver, todos escribiéndola, por favor, en el chat, right in this moment. Pónganla para todos, ¿ok? ¿Cómo fue, teacher? Excuse me. The structure of WH questions uh, using present continuous grammar structure on the chat. Escríbala. Escriba la estructura de las preguntas de información usando el presente continuo. Excellent, Daisy. Good, Juan Diego. Only the question mark, Juan Diego. Oh, don't remember the verb. But it's okay because you have the main, the main idea. Okay, WH word plus it to be. Uh huh. Plus the subject. Patricia, you've got to check it because we're talking about the questions. WH questions. Okay, it is WH word 
plus B plus the subject plus verb ing plus the complement. Excellent, Linda. Let's see. Very good, Roxana. Now I want an example. Can you give me an example of an information question using the present continuous? De lo que hemos hablado ahorita, de cualquiera de los que hemos hecho. Okay. Through the chat. Great, great, Nestor. Where are you going tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Where is um, Daisy? You've got to check your question. Okay, okay. You can correct it. Uh, let's see. Excellent, Juan Diego. What are you doing? No, what are they doing on work? Mm. I, yes, but I'm just trying to get your idea, Juan Diego. Maybe you have a different idea. Okay. But yes, what are they doing at work? Okay. Uh, Roxana, good. Where is your bus having? Remember, where is your bus having the annual meeting? Okay. Era el verbo que faltaba, que estaba detrás del cuadro blanco. Para los que no hallaban el verbo having ayer en el ejercicio, era where is your bus having? Okay. Where is the meeting taking place? Excellent, Alba. Uh, let's see, Juan Diego. Yes, at. Why is the company celebrating anniversary? Um, Mayra, eh, lo que está preguntando es por qué. Ok, entonces tal vez sería where para decir dónde va a ser, dónde está celebrando el aniversario la compañía, ¿verdad? Porque pues preguntar por qué no tendría mucho eh, sentido en ese caso. Vamos a ver. Oh, okay, Juan Diego, no problem. Let's see, Mayra. Again, why? Uh, lo que está mal, Mayra, sería la question word. Okay, en vez de why, it has to be where. Okay. Where o cuando, ¿verdad? When. ¿Dónde o cuando? Where or when. Okay. When are you arriving? in Panama, okay. Mm, okay, uh, arriving in this uh, question could be without the in, okay? When are you arriving Panama? Arriving Panama. Oh my God, what was that? Yes, Roxana, having. Linda, I'm swimming right now, good, good. But Linda, remember we are studying questions, okay? Information questions using the present continuous. Uh, Mayra, excellent Mayra. When is the company celebrating the anniversary? Good. Uh, Cecia, when's your birthday? Oh, that's a very good information question, but you are not using um, the present continuous. For example, when, uh, are you celebrating your birthday, right? When are you, where are you celebrating your birthday will be good. Pero si es una información, de, eh, perdón, es una pregunta de información, decir when's your birthday, porque estamos pidiendo tiempo, ¿verdad? Estamos pidiendo una fecha. So yes, it is correct. Very good. Okay, now let's continue because now we are going to start with the uh, topic for tonight, okay? 
thank you everybody for participating in this activity. And I think it was uh, productive, right? Really productive. Now just let me. Okay, one second, because I will try to do a screenshot here. One moment. Okay. Mm, it didn't give it to me. To see who won. Okay, I couldn't take the screenshot, guys. Para enviarles quién había ganado. Okay, so now we are going to continue. We are continuing with this. Ways to report a problem, okay? Ways to report a problem. So we are going to, I am going to ask two questions, okay, to start. Number one is, do you ever call tech support? Do you ever call tech support? Alguna vez ustedes llaman a eh, soporte técnico? Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, teacher. IT department. Yes, 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 oh. we do. Okay, great. So I'm going to write that answer. Yes. We do. Okay. That's in, pl in plural, right? Yes, we do. Yes. If I'm talking individually, okay, that yes, I do. Is there anyone who doesn't call tech support ever? Is there anyone? Okay, then the answer is yes, we do, or yes, I do. And when do you do it? When do you call tech support? Me, for example, I call to tech support when presenting taxes. When I'm sending taxes, uh -huh. do you, um, or does it show a problem up or do you call them just for uh, asking for them to do an activity that it is related with your job? No, it's in just in case I have problem with the platform. Okay, great. So just in case, esta es una muy buena frase, just in case I have a problem. Okay, good. Just in case, solo en caso de, ¿verdad? O por si acaso, I have a problem. Tengo un problema with the platform. Form. Okay, good. Is there anyone else who wants to share when do you call take support? Uh, in, in my case, teacher, we call uh, the take support once a month. Once a month. And yeah. why do you do that? Oh, well, because uh, uh, every month uh, we pay him uh, to check oh. once a month uh, to, um, how, how can I say? Um, para darle mantenimiento okay. a las computadoras de la, de la alcaldía. Okay, so as an scheduled maintenance, okay? Yes. As an scheduled maintenance. Maintenance. 
maintenance, okay? Maintenance. Like this, maintenance. Okay, as an scheduled maintenance or as a regular maintenance, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Is there anyone who wants to share when do you call tech support? Teacher, entonces ahí sería eh, horario de mantenimiento, ¿cómo sería? Uh, como un mantenimiento programado. Ah, ok, ok, thanks, thanks. Ok. Ok. So, yes, we call tech support because tech support is in charge of repairing, fixing, and uh, preventing, installing um, things related to or problems related to devices. Okay, so we could say hardware. We could have also problems or installations of, of new software, okay? Or maybe we call them, or well, tech support is in charge also of um, a taking care, taking care of the good function of networks, softwares, hardwares, connections, um, also devices, um, computers, and in this case, devices like printers, uh, photocopiers, okay? So they are in charge of everything uh, that you are using to do your job in your department, okay? So those are like the functions of this department. And the department is called IT support, okay? IT support department or IT department. Puede ser IT department or IT support department. What, what does it mean IT? Okay, great. Information. technology okay okay information technology department okay do you want to google please and write this question for you to see what uh it stands for okay what it stands for Pongan en Google esta pregunta y ahí vamos a ver las funciones de IT department. A ver quién me lo lee lo que encontró. Who wants to read what you found out? Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, it stands for information technology, and it's pronounced IT. It refers to anything related to computer technology, such okay. as networking, hardware, software, the internet, or the people that work with these technologies. Excellent. And what kind of um. Well, in this case, they are talking about technology in different, um, in different ways, right? Um, so they are talking about the connections, hardware, software, and what else did you say? I, I don't remember. Networking. Oh, networking, the uh, hardware, software, okay. the internet, mm -hmm. or the people that work with these technologies, all okay. the personas. 
uh, trabajan con esas tecnologías. Operators, right? Operators. Operators. Yes. yes. Operators, programmers, okay, designers. Um, so yes. we could talk about web the web designers. Web designers, okay. Yes. And they are using um, constantly this tech support. And tech support is not only referring to your job, right? Maybe it's referring to sales if you sell online, or your company sells online, or maybe you, like Chivo Wallet, right? They have tech yeah, support. Right. Okay, every and app, the, uh, much, Google Apps, okay, Google Apps have tech support. Pero hay cosas que sí vale la pena, ¿verdad? Reportarlas. Hay, hay, hay cosas que sí son problema, ¿verdad? ¿Qué problema lo vamos a conocer como estas palabras? Ok, aquí las voy a poner. Problem, issue, ok, situation, ok. Así las vamos a ir reconociendo, ¿verdad? Problem, issue, situation. Problem is something bigger than issue, ok. It's something bigger than issue because issue is like uh, something controllable, something that has a solution. And it's um, like uh, expected, expected to happen or manageable, ma manageable, okay? A situation could be anything, could be anything, okay? Cualquier cosa que aparece en el camino es una situación, ¿verdad? Y nosotros tenemos los salvadoreños mucho esa palabra y decimos, ay, tenemos, es que hay una situación de riesgo, hay una situación de, de peligro, hay una situación que, ok, situation is the same use in English, ok? Situation is the same use. Ok, let's go back, let's go back and let's talk about things that are really a problem and things that are not, okay? Uh, ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que sí son problemas que se pueden reportar a tech support? Like the pl platform don't recognize the ID. Okay, profile. good, uh -huh. good, 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 uh -huh. what else? Oh, one second. Uh -huh. Platform doesn't recognize the ID. Okay, the ID or the username, right? Or the user. Username. Yeah, name. I don't remember if we can use it like this. Together. User profile. All together. Yes, user profile too. It's a very good um, word to, to name this. Okay, Plat platform doesn't recognize the, recognize the ID or the username. What about the passwords? ¿Sería un problema que podemos reportar a Tech Support? Um, yeah. Yes, because they control in this. ¿Y cómo lo diríamos? Digamos, usted está llamando a Tech Support. ¿Cómo diría ese problema? Um, I can sing in, in my profile. I can't. Singing. Sign in. Sign in. Yeah. Sign in. Uh, hasta ahí estaría bien. I can't sign no, in. But, but sign is with, with, con Y. Sign or not. No, está al revés. Eh, le puse NG y es GN. Ok. Sign. Like, sí, porque oh. si no es cantar. <laughs> Yes. yes, ok, por eso no, no le sonaba muy bien porque yo estaba cantando. <laughs> ok, then, yes, I can't sing and sign in. <laughs> y sigo con sing. Uh, yes. I can't sign in. Sign, <laughs> sign is different than sing. Ok, sing, singing. 
sign signing okay there you are okay i can sign in okay yes good mm -hmm. otra is login order is login right? yes. correct i can't log in mm -hmm. y le van a preguntar por qué verdad qué problema le da verdad entonces cómo le decimos que olvidamos el password I can't, remember. I can't remember the password. Good. Vamos a usar las dos. Vamos a ver la primera. I can't remember the password. Good. Y la otra forma es usando el tiempo en pasado, right? I forgot my password. Ok, ya este es tiempo pasado. No hemos visto el tiempo pasado todavía, así que está muy bien esta forma de decir I can't remember the password. Ok. Or you can say I'm losing my password. Oh, no. yes, pero en ese caso ya no sería en, en el presente continuo, ¿verdad? Uh, tendría que ser porque um, usted lo, ya no. lo probó, ya hizo una acción para darse cuenta que I no... Lost. Exactamente, tendría que usar el tiempo pasado. I lost, I, I lost oh, okay. my password. Mm -hmm. I lost my password. Okay, okay. so this is um, as a um, general, as a general information that we need to know about tech support and the department and the things that they do and things that are really a problem. Pero, ¿qué no sería un problema? Digamos que alguien llama Tech Support y el de Tech Support dice, bueno, pero eso lo puede arreglar él, o sea, solo lo reinicia y ya estuvo. O sea, ¿qué problema? Ustedes se han fijado que los de Tech Support son así, así como que lo miran a uno, Dios, qué bárbaros, no saben, ¿verdad? Pues sí es cierto, hay cosas que no las sabemos, para eso ellos lo saben, ¿no? <ríe> son especializados. Pero veamos algo que podría no ser un problema. A ver, ¿qué cosas no reportamos a Tech Support y las resolvemos nosotros? ¿Qué cosas no las reportamos? Ajá. Ok, vamos entonces a decirlo de esta manera. Existe una palabra que se llama troubleshooting. Ok, troubleshooting. A ver, todos aquí conocen ya esa palabra, ¿verdad? I want you to tell me what troubleshooting means. ¿No la han escuchado, troubleshooting? La voy a escribir no, acá. Sí. Ok. Troubleshooting. Problem is problem, no? Yes. Ahí lo vamos a poner también. Problem, issue, situation, and trouble. Okay. Trouble. Okay. Trouble. Yeah. Shooting. Y está es unido. Okay. Troubleshooting is a word that means that you are able to solve your problem. Okay. Existe como okay. una manera ya establecida de seguir los pasos para resolver un problema frecuente o un problema que pues es como obvio y entonces para que no estén llamando a Tech Support le ponen, va, si le sucede esto, usted va a hacer esto, va a hacer esto y yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, so that's troubleshooting. Y es lo primero que le pregunta a Tech Support, si ¿sí o no, va descartando. Mire, ya chequeó si está conectado. Está conectado. <laughs> ok. Ajá. If it is plugged in, right? Uh, ya chequeó si, qué sé yo, podemos decir, uh, ya le dio refrescar, right? Ya le dio F5 para ver si ya le carga. Ok. O oh, si no tienen paquete de internet. Uh, ok, ajá, uh -huh. yes. Did you pay the last bill? Ok, pagaron la factura anterior. <laughs> yeah, things like those. 
Those are troubleshooting. Van descartando. Entonces yo voy a llamar a tech support hasta que yo haya hecho todo lo obvio, ¿verdad? Hasta que yo haya hecho todo lo obvio. Para eso sirve tech support, para resolver algo que no está en mis manos, ¿ok? To solve something that it's impossible for us to solve it with the hardware or the network or maybe the software is failing or is having a glitch and we cannot, we don't know why this problem is happening. Maybe it's a programming, a programming thing, okay? So yes, that's troubleshooting. Bien, partiendo de todo esto, podemos decir que hay cosas que sí es necesario que llamemos a tech support y cosas que no es necesario. Ahora, what ways can we contact tech support department? What ways can we use to contact tech support department? ¿De qué maneras los podemos contactar? For calling. Yes. Making a call. Mm -hmm. For chat. Yes, correct. Live chats. Good. Email. Emails. Emails. Mm -hmm. Correct. Social media teacher. No or no. Yes. Yes, yes. of course. By DM, right? By DM, we can send a message now and they contact you or you can receive any inbox. information from inbox by the email. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp, they have phone numbers in the companies uh, for WhatsApp. For example, these companies that um, uh, offer las the internet. Páginas, las páginas web de las mismos servidores. Correct. Websites, correct. Uh -huh. Okay, there are different ways. There are different ways. In this module, we are just going to try to um, learn via telephone, okay? Via telephone, but you can adapt it. You can adapt it, adapt it for any other way, okay? For any other way, because the questions are the same. The problems are the same. The solutions are the same, okay? So you can use any way, but we are going to study only the telephone in this module, okay? So let's go uh, to the next uh, part in this class, uh, but I see it's 9.07, so let me please, I'll, I'll roll, um, I'm sorry, I'll roll call and, uh, okay. And please turn on your cameras and say present when they when you hear your name. Once again. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Perez Fideos. Present teacher. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present teacher. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present, teacher. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present, teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Ok. Ok, Delmi, thank you. And Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanir Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Pablo, are you there yet? Yo vi que estaba con problemas, pero veamos. Pablo. Are you there? Okay. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present, teacher. Roxana Marilyn Perez Ortiz. Present. Thank you very much. Now we are going to continue with a conversation that we have in our manuals. So let me show you this. 
This is the way to report a problem. But this is a very good way to report a problem and it's an, a very practical way. So let me share this with you. And I'm going to read the conversation and after, please let me know if you have questions about the vocabulary. Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Uh, let me ask you some questions. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Re Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? I have with at like and seem. Great. Ese es el tema de ahora, okay? This phrase, I'd like to, completa, I'd like to, significa en una muy amable, muy educada manera de decir, I want. Me gustaría. Okay, I want. Como me gustaría. Mm, sí, sí, ese sería como el significado en español, pero... Haciéndolo una comparación es una forma muy educada y muy polite de decir I want. Ok. Ok. If you say I want to report a problem, it's not Something bad. Like yeah, it is not a bad thing, pero es bastante directa. Probablemente lo usaría alguien que realmente ya probó todo y realmente ya le dieron una solución y esa solución no le funciona. Ok, ya es como mm, un poco molesto, right? I want to. Very direct. Bien directo. Yeah. Okay. Pero si yo le digo, I'd like to report a problem, significa eh, I want, pero en una forma más suavemente, más educada, ¿ok? Ok. Como decir, uh, ¿podrías? Ok, uh, ¿podría yo reportar o me gustaría yo reportar? Me gustaría reportar, right? Pero en realidad es I want, ¿ok? Lo mismo que I want. So, now, let's see. Do you have any other? Ah, uh, eh, solo me falta esta, ¿verdad? It's contracted form. It's from contracted Or... Sí, ya lo vamos a ver like más that. detenidamente. Este es would, would, ¿ok? Es un modal verb. Ya lo vamos a ver okay. más eh, detenidamente. Por el momento, eh, la frase completa que vamos a aprender es I'd like to report a problem, ¿ok? I'd like to report a problem. Ahí estamos diciendo quiero reportar un problema, ¿verdad? I'd like to report a problem. Y la que dice acá, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. No se ve que trabaje. Ok, no se ve que funciona. Yeah. No se ve que. Oh, okay. it's like sí, de ver, but la M hace la función de que es alguna cosa. Es, eh, es no, no, no. Eh, sim es like appearance, like something that... Um, Apparently. Yes, apparently. Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Okay, great. Do you have any other question, guys? Everything all right? All right. So we want to listen to Nestor and Cecia, please. Nestor, Peter, and Cecia, Robert. Okay. okay. Good morning. This is Peter from TED Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. 
I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let, let me ask you some questions. Excellent. Good. Okay, people. Now let's listen to Juan Diego and Patti, please. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. It's like to report a problem with my computer. What it is, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, great. Now, just let me do some observations here. Human resources, okay? Human resources department, okay? Human resources department. Excellent. And here, Juan Diego, it is, what is it? No, what it is. What is it? Oh, sorry. Okay? Yes. yes, because we have to make the difference between a question and an affirmative thing, right? So, what is it? Okay? What is it? Yeah. Y cuando decimos what it is, siempre al is le vamos a dar el, el strong voice, right? What is it? What it is, right? Different, right? So let's. Okay, Juan Diego. Okay, everyone. No more questions about this. No more questions. Not teacher. Ok, now it's your turn. Pensemos ahorita, ok, everybody thinking. Para contestar el teléfono, usted va a decir su nombre y del departamento al que usted pertenece, ok. Think now. Piensen ahora cómo está contestando Robert aquí, ok. Como que lo está diciendo usted, please. You will say, this is, then you say your name. I am calling from, y ponen su departamento al que pertenecen realmente. And then you say, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay? Vamos a ver. Everybody thinking and writing the way that you are going to answer. I, I will give you 30 seconds to think okay. about it and write it down if you want to um, remember. Okay? Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. Good morning. This is Carmen from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Carmen. This is Diego. I'm calling from the account accountant department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Great, Juan Diego. Excellent, excellent. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Ok, yo fui la primera, ok. Al primero que diga, dice la primera frase con su nombre y al segundo que digo, contesta como si fuera Robert, ok. Pero van a esperar el sonido del teléfono, ok. Bien. First one, Patty. And... Uh, Second will be Linda. Good morning. This is Patty from Quality Control. From uh, Tech Support. Well, from Tech Support in this case. Okay. Solo en la segunda sí es con el original de donde usted está. Pero ahorita usted es Tech Support. El primero es Tech Support, guys. Um, teacher, primero digo de qué departamento soy. No, no, es que como usted ahorita está actuando como de tech support, el segundo, uh -huh. Robert, el que va a ser de Robert, es el que va a reportar el problema. Ese sí va a decir de su departamento que es. Ok. Ok. Let's start over. Let's start over. Good morning. This is Patricia from 
fish support, I can help you. Hi, Patricia. This is Linda. I am calling from the uh, team Cesar. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay. I'm, I'm in the for teams, no, but for departments. Oh. Am... <laughs> okay, okay. So, what's the name of your team? Team is here, the name the my supervisor. Team, team Cesar. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Good. Cesar's team. Okay. Great. So now we're going to see it from here. Okay, I'm going to show you this other one. And we're going to do this practice. Okay, vamos a decirlo de esta manera. Okay, aquí están estos nombres porque pues para que ustedes se ubicaran, ¿verdad? For example, good evening. This is Delmi from Tech Support. How can I help you? A ver, todos diciendo esta frase. How can I help you? 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 Okay. Ahora pongamos una voz así bien amigable de teléfono. Okay. How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Claro que los hombres lo van a poner así. How can I help you? O sea, así bien, uh, like a sexy voice, right? But in a man voice, man's voice. Okay. So let's yeah. see. Uh, how can I help you? How can I help you? Excellent, Juan Diego. Great. Nestor. How can I help you? Okay. Uh, tiene que mejorarlo. Vamos a ver. Uh, who wants to participate? Daisy? Mm -hmm. Cecia? Help you? Okay, good. Cecia? How can I help you? Okay. Alba? How can I help you? Ok, good. Sí se traba un poquito al principio, ¿verdad? La, la lengua, pero la tenemos que practicar para decirla bonita, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a hacer esta práctica ahorita, así como la llevábamos, ¿verdad? Así como la llevábamos. Eh, vamos a decir, good evening. This is, and we say the name, from Tech Support. How can I help you? Vamos a decir, good evening. This is Delmi from Tech Support. How can I help you? Ok, así como contestando el teléfono con entonación. Next one. Hello, Delmi. This is Mrs. Ur de Urbina from Quality Control Department. I would like to report a problem. Ok, aquí vamos a hacer diferentes, a ver cómo nos sale este empleado, si está molesto, si está preocupado, si está afligido, que borró, ¿verdad? Algunos... Eh, Files, important files. Entonces, así vamos a actuar ahorita. Okay, we are going to role play in different intonations. Okay, vamos a ver. Al primero que diga es A, al, al segundo que diga es B. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Sustituir los nombres por nuestro nombre y en el segundo, al que le toque el segundo, tiene que decir al departamento que pertenece. Okay. Aquí ya, si se fijan, tenemos would entero, ¿verdad? Ya no lo tenemos contractado, ¿sí? Fijémonos en eso también. Va, vamos a ver. And first, Alba and David. Ok. Good evening. This is Alba from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hello, Alma. This is David from Electronic Security Department. I would like to report a problem. Excellent. Excellent. Ok. Uh, hay que soltar un poquito más, así más tranquilita, Alba. Ok. Y hacerla así como más dulce, ok. Más de, de ofrecer el servicio, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, dispuesta a ayudar, ok. Vamos a ver. Patty and Cecia. Good 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Do this mean this is part from page support. So what can I help you? Hello, Patty. This is Miss Perez from business department. I would like to report a problem. Excellent, excellent. Ahora, para decir esta, esta pregunta, Patty tiene que abrir bien la boca. How? Así le va a salir mejor. How can I help you? Ok. <ríe> es que se traba un poquito, ¿verdad? Siempre la lengua con este. Uh -huh. Okay, bien, vamos a escuchar. We are going to listen to Linda and Juan, Juan Diego. Good evening, this is Linda from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, Linda. This is Mrs. Uh, Mr. Um, how to say, Senor? Diego? Mr. Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez from a accounting department. I would like to report a problem. Oh, you see, he's kind of worried, right? Or something like that. Uh, wondering what's going on, right? Excellent, Juan Diego. There we are. Now we are going to listen to... Um, díganme si alguien se me está quedando de los que están listos. Okay, Grecia. And Marco, please. Good evening. This is Marco from Page Support. How can I help you? Okay, Grecia. Y tiene que decir, this is Grecia, okay? This is Grecia from Tech Support. This is Tech Support. help you? Okay, Marco. Hello, Grecia. This is Mr. Villeda from Quality Control Department. I would like to, re, uh, re, to report a problem. Excellent. There we go. Now, let's see. Um, a ver, ¿quién dice yo? Yo. Daisy, tell me. Yes. Daisy. Okay, good. Daisy and Linda. In the ring? Se durmió el teléfono. Good evening. This is Daisy from Pets Report. How can I help you? Hello, tell me. This is Mrs. Eh, Pariadares from the eh, CSR team. I would like to report a problem. Okay, great. It was Daisy, pero está bien, okay? Era Daisy. <laughs> this problem is eternally for my name. I think so, yes, because even it happens to me. I confuse Daisy and tell me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yes, well, but you did a very good job. You did a very good job. Now we are going to see what is next in the conversation. In the conversation, when we say, I would like to report a problem, I'm going to do it like this. Me falta uno aquí. Que sería el que estamos viendo, verdad? Como era el que estábamos viendo? Mm -hmm. I Contractado. exactly. I would like to report a problem. Okay. Recordando issue, trouble, problem. Ahora veamos una cosa muy importante. Issue. We can count issues. We can count one issue, two issues, three issues. But we cannot count trouble. We cannot say one trouble, two troubles. Mm -mm. It doesn't exist. We say I have trouble. No decimos a trouble. Okay. No es contable. It's not countable. 
problem. Problem is countable. So we say a problem. One problem, right? A problem. Two problems. Three problems. We can count problems. So travel, we don't say travels. Yeah, it's not in, in plural. Okay. Travel is travel. Um, y usualmente travel eh, lo pueden entender más con eh, los niños problema, right? A uh, travel kid, a travel girl, um, como niños traviesos, right? Que le juegan bromas a uno, okay? They are travel, they are travel kids. Para entender un poquito que no es un pecado, no es malo, no es algo irreparable, okay? Travel es un problema entre issue and problem. Problem is really something important, okay? It's something that you have to pay attention to. Okay? Podemos decir de estas cuatro maneras, okay? Aquí donde dice I would like es el verbo modal would, okay? Would. Este verbo no cambia en la conjugación. Realmente no tiene un significado al español. No tiene un significado. Okay, it doesn't have a, an exact um, meaning. Okay, y prácticamente podríamos decir que no significa nada, pero sí. Okay, nos ayuda a hacer um, solicitudes de una manera amable. Lo usamos para hablar de una forma polite. Okay, polite significa amable. Eh, educada, políticamente, ok, uh, de una manera justa como nos debemos comportar en el trabajo y como debe ser nuestro lenguaje formal, ok. Entonces, then, sí se conjuga, ok, sí se conjuga, pero para ninguna de las personas cambia. It is, I would, you would, she would, he would, we would, Uh, they would, ok, vamos a escribirlos acá. Entonces, podríamos decir, I would, uh -huh. you would, she would, he would, y no cambia, ¿verdad? We would, they would. Ok. Pero veamos que este está unido con toda la frase, ¿verdad? Would like to. Would like. Would like to. Would like significa I want. Ok. I want, pero lo van a encontrar también de manera contra, contractada, I'd, ok, esta sería la pronunciación, I'd, I'd, todos pronunciando, I'd, 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 I want to hear you guys, I'd, I'd. La letra D, nosotros la pronunciamos en español con los, eh, la lengua entre los dientes. ¿Se han fijado? Digan dedo, dedo. Deto. Fíjense Deto. cómo ponen la lengua. Dedo, dedo. ¿Ve? Está entre los dientes la lengua, ¿verdad? En inglés la letra D no está ahí la lengua. La lengua se pone detrás de los dientes, arriba en el paladar. D, D. A ver todos, la lengua tocando los dientes en el paladar. D, por detrás. D, D, por detrás de los dientes. D, D. Ese es el sonido que debe haber cuando decimos ay, D, ay, D. A ver todos. 
I do. 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 Uh -huh. Ahorita exagérenlo para que su cerebro lo aprenda, porque no tenemos ese sonido en español, no lo tenemos. El de nosotros es en medio de los dientes y así lo vamos a querer pronunciar y se nos va a trabar la lengua. I like, no, no va a sonar la L, ¿verdad? I, I no suena la L. I like, porque L va arriba. En cambio, si decimos I'd, de ahí sale like, I'd like, ¿ok? Es un tip para poder pronunciar correctamente esto y que no se trabe, ¿ok? Quiero escucharlos. Everyone. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Uh -huh. I'd like. Excellent. Ok, vamos a ver la contracción de you. You'd, ok. You'd like, you'd like, you'd, d, 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 ok. She'd, 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 ok. She'd, she'd. Acuérdense dónde está la lengua, atrás. He'd. Like a bad word. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, that's another one. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you have to sound the sound the end like at the end. So no, uh, it doesn't sound like the same word that you're thinking okay. about. Okay, then he'd 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 like to. He'd like to. Meaning he'd, he'd like to. He'd. We'd, okay. We'd like to. We'd like to. We. That uh, sounds like another word. Yes, we'd. that sounds something like that. But aquí viene una cosa. Aquí la frenamos, okay. No decimos like the other word, right? Le decimos. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I said it before. Yeah, I said it, but it, I didn't okay. want to. I didn't mean it, okay? So okay. it is we, the, like this. We, the, like to. La but frena. It's important, but it's important to recognize this, that difference. Of course, of course it is. Of course it is. Yes, because imagine you are <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> yeah, you're saying something. You're having bad. a conversation. In Offending people. Something. Yeah. yeah. Offending people, right? <laughs> you're right. So they'd, 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 okay? They'd. Yeah. So the, co the complete phrase will be I'd like to. Quiere decir? Quiero, ¿verdad? I'd like. Y ponemos to, ¿verdad? Quiere decir que el verbo que sigue después de esto tiene que ser un infinitivo. Nunca vamos a usar un ing aquí en esta parte, ¿verdad? En esta, en esta frase. I'd like to report. Ah, es un infinitivo porque ya tengo el to adelante, ¿verdad? Entonces, you'd like to report a problem. She'd like to report a problem. Ok. ¿Cómo sería el siguiente? He'd like to. Ok. Uh, what about the, the next one? We'd like We. to. Ok, yes. You said the bad word, not me. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Sounds like a bad word. Yeah, this is because you told me. Because, this is because you told me. It's That's because what... I know. It's because I know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. But yes, it is important to notice the difference. Okay. We like. You see? We it. We it. Like this. We like. We like. We like. We like. We like. To. like. Yes. And the last one. Guys, ¿cómo sería la última? They like, like to. Excellent. Okay, now we know the correct pronunciation. 
for doing easier, uh, for saying this easier, and also to remember, remember that this is I want in a polite way, okay? I want in a polite way. Toda la frase, okay? Solo would, no. Would like to. Eso significa I want. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos correctos hasta ahí? What does it mean a polite, you say? Polite es como bien educado, muy formal, muy político. ¿Ok? Ok. Like a formal way to speak. ¿Ok? And very kind of you to talk like that. So let's continue. Let's continue because we have something here. Ah, bueno, esto es cuando lo usamos en forma afirmativa. De una vez les voy a decir el negativo es I wouldn't or would not, okay? Would not like to. Podemos hacer las dos contracciones, ¿verdad? I'd not like to. Pero usualmente es, I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't like to. Ok, y lo mismo para todos los otros eh, pronombres, ¿verdad? Ahí ustedes los pueden poner los demás pronombres usando eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, I would not like to. El not, miren dónde va. Miren dónde va ubicado. No lo vamos a decir. I would like not. Mm -mm. I would not like to. Ok. Or I wouldn't like to. A ver todos pronunciando el negativo. I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to. Excellent. Aquí eliminamos la letra L. Cuando la pronunciamos la palabra, la eliminamos, no suena. Es muda esa letra L. Would. ¿Ok? Wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Didn't. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like to. Excellent. I wouldn't like to. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit confused because. We can use in the O to pronounce the O. Like wouldn't. Yeah, it is not correct. It is yeah. would. Como la madera. Okay, it's the same word as madera. Do you word, remember yeah. this, the word for madera is wood? Yeah. yeah, so it's the same sound. It's the same sound. Very similar. Okay, would, wouldn't. Is there any question so far? No. Um, we we don't use in never never case the present continuous in this case. No, not in this case. Don't have any exception with this. With this yes, word. because there are other uh, other phrases. If, uh, Uh, other would phrases like would mind todos los que van unidos con mind okay would um yeah would mind um solo would con el otro verbo okay pero quizás solo con would mind sí iría con ing pero de ahí los demás no just okay. with with plus mind would plus mind And complement and present continuous and complement. Yes, it's not present continuous uh, per se, it's ing verb form. Okay, oh, ing verb okay. form. Yeah, it's not present continuous that you're going to say is or using the be verb. No, just the ing gerund. Okay. Okay. Is everybody okay? Till here? Yes, teacher. Here? Yes. Okay, continue then. The next part to understand this, en la conversación, ok, le tenemos que decir que nos describa, ¿verdad? So let's describe what is the problem, ¿ya? Yeah? Para eso le podemos hacer cualquiera de estas preguntas. En la conversación que teníamos, it says, what is it, Robert? Ok, 
pero podemos preguntarle, what is the problem? What is the problem? O le podemos decir, what is the issue? Ok. O podemos usar lo mismo que dijo eh, Robert, ¿verdad? Dijo, uh, it doesn't seem to work. Esa misma palabra, seem, en este, es, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Esta es una frase como mm, eh, ya establecida así, ¿verdad? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? A ver, quiero oírlos a todos desde el primero. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's go to the next part. Okay. Y cuando nosotros reportamos el problema, normalmente no nos quedamos, I like to report a problem. Okay. Siempre. Usualmente decimos esto. I'd like to report a problem with the new software, for example. De un solo le decimos, it doesn't play the video, ¿ok? Entonces el software era acerca del video, según este problema que están, estamos reportando, ¿verdad? I'd like to report a problem with the new software. It doesn't play the video. Si se fijan, tenemos, eh, le digo lo que yo quiero, Reportar el problema. ¿Con qué? ¿Qué me está dando el problema? The new software. The new hardware. The new CPU. In this case, CP, uh, CPU. And, or for example, the Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, the Wi-Fi. What else can we report? Um, let's see. What else can we report? Um, with the files, okay, saving the files, okay? So at the same time, I tell them or I give them a clue. Les doy una pista de lo que sucede, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es realmente mi problema? It doesn't play the video. What doesn't play the video? The new software, okay? Así podemos elaborar o construir la frase para poder reportar un problema. Veamos entonces. I'd like to report a problem with the new software. It doesn't play the video. Inmediatamente, el de tech support va a buscar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que va a descartar? Ya está pensando cuál es el problema, right? Porque ya le dimos toda la luz, right? Y eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. No vamos a llamar a tech support sin... Es que vi que no sé. No, hay que pensar y hay que ver cuál es realmente mi problema. Entonces, si no le van a decir, ay, no, es que ella siempre llama porque ni sabe qué le pasa. No, 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 hey, come on. <ríe> le vamos a decir cabalito, ¿eh? I'd like to report a problem with the new software. It doesn't play the video. Ok, now let's continue. Este puede ser una forma de reportar un, pro un problema. ¿Cuál era el problema acá? The new software, ¿verdad? A ver, vayan pensando ya en ideas que les puedan estar pasando a ustedes como problemas en su trabajo. Vamos a ver aquí. Next one. Uh, just let me erase. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. Okay. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. Okay. Unable, unable significa que no puedo. Right. No puedo. Yeah. I'm unable to log in. That's a problem, right? Log in. Remember the keyword. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. Want to hear you guys. Open your mics and read. I have a problem. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. Unable to log in. I'm unable. I'm unable. I'm unable. 
I am unable to log I'm in. Unable. I am unable to log in. Yes, I am unable to log in. I am unable to log in. Unable I'm to unable log in. to log in. Excellent. Let's see another problem. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. Okay. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. Everybody, please. I, I, I'd like I, to report, I'd like to report, report a problem. I, I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. Okay, anything, anything, anything. Okay. Anything. Anything. Sí, se escucha una música, ¿verdad? Por ahí es cierto. Por favor, yes. eh, fíjense yeah, que es por el copyright que después nos pueden bajar o nos pueden eliminar el video en YouTube porque suena al fondo una música, así que ten, una canción que tiene copyright. Así que por favor, seamos conscientes de eso y o quitamos la música de, de donde estamos, ¿verdad? O le baja el volumen o cierra su micrófono, ¿ok? Pero no deje de participar. Bien. Ok, now let's go and see this vocabulary. These are common IT issues. Common IT issues. Son problemas muy comunes y frecuentes, right? Uh, frequent IT issues. Let's read the first one. Let's read the first one. I keep losing access to the wireless connection. I keep losing access to the wireless connection. So it means the Wi-Fi, right? We could say wireless connection or we can say Wi-Fi. Yeah. The internet is running really slow. The internet is running really slow. Next. My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. I deleted some important files. I deleted some important files. I'm unable to log in. I'm unable to log in. I got the dread of blue screen of death. Do you know what is that? I got the dreaded blue screen of la death. Azul de la yeah. Yo, eh. Yes, and it's a really big problem for us. Yeah, todos nos asustamos, ¿verdad? Pero el tech support sabe, sabe qué hacer. The file doesn't open. The file doesn't open. Uh, my computer just shut down unexpectedly. My computer just shut down unexpectedly. Okay, se apagó la computadora así inesperadamente, right? I have no internet access. I have no internet access. No tengo acceso a internet. I keep losing access to the wireless connection. Se va y viene la señal, ¿verdad? Se va, se viene y me vuelve a sacar y me vuelve a... Pierdo la señal, pierdo la señal. The internet is running really, really slow. El internet está bien lento. Yeah. Miri, ¿por qué está tan lento el internet usted? Right? Something like that. The internet is running really slow. Ok. Así como nosotros cuando le decimos a la teacher, viera que está bien lento el internet, entonces por eso no voy a poner el video, porque entonces me, me baja aquí el asunto, entonces no le escucho bien. Right? My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. Se mete el device ahí en el USB y no se lo lee, ¿verdad? So, esa es la forma de decir, my computer doesn't recognize the USB device. The USB device. Puede ser la memoria, okay, a USB memory, or puede ser the any format. device, yeah, by a USB connection, right? Our connector. I deleted some important files. No decimos erase para los... Eh, files, para los archivos de un software, decimos delete, ok, no decimos erase, se me borró, dice uno, sí, para nosotros es solo una palabra, borró, pero para 
en inglés es erase, es que usted desaparece de la escritura, ¿verdad? Con goma de borrar o con un borrador en el pizarrón. That's erase. Delete es borrar los files o los archivos en, una, en un software. Okay? Deleted some important files. Ok, estas son expresiones que nos podemos aprender prácticamente de memoria y ponerlas en una conversación reportando el problema. Ok, como tenemos todavía cinco minutitos, vamos a armar la conversación. Ok, armemos la conversacioncita desde el principio, una parecida a la de Robert. Ok, ya vimos varios problemas. Sí. Vamos a ver. Armémosla entre todos. Vamos a ver. Good evening. This is Delmi from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, Delmi. This is Mrs. De Urbina from Quality Control Department. I would like to report a problem. ¿Qué seguiría? The internet is running. What is it? Yes, we could say what is it with the letter A again, right? Yes. Pero así como lo vimos que de una vez armamos todo el problema para describirlo y darle de un solo la luz, right? Están bien las dos formas. Okay? Están bien las dos formas. Solo déjenme seleccionar este asunto para subirlo. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. then we could say, what is it, right? Puede ser que aquí decimos todo el problema o aquí, what is it? No le voy a ir poniendo A y B porque me va a cambiar todo. What is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Entonces venimos y le decimos el problema. Let's describe the problem. Un problema, un problema. The internet is running really slow. Ok. Uh -huh. Y de ahí Robert le dijo, ¿verdad? Let me ask you. Some questions. Bien, mañana vamos a ver esas preguntas, ¿ok? Para encontrar soluciones. Ahora, hagamos esta conversacioncita. Ahorita solamente vamos a hacer dos personas, perdón, dos ejemplos. Y de esta misma manera ustedes solo van a cambiar el problema, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? ¿Yeah? Obviamente van a ponerle su información acá desde el principio como le hemos practicado. Vamos a ver. Um, Let's see. Bueno, pongamos a Juan Diego primero con Linda. Vamos a ver. Just read. Um, uh, what is it? No, no, no. Complete the whole conversation. I'm sorry. Okay. Um... Good evening. This is Diego from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, Diego. This is Mrs. Linda from the CSR team. I would like to report a problem. Okay. Um, what is it? I'm unable to log in. You can. You can what? She's unable to log in. Oh, okay. Uh, let me let me ask you some questions. Excellent. So now we're going to listen to Patty and Nestor. Uh, who is going to start? You. Okay. Good evening. This is 
um, Mr. Uh, Garzona from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, my name is Patricia for from quality control department. Uh, would you like to report phone? Uh, what is it? Uh, my computing is fine, Let me ask you some question. What was the problem, Patty? <laughs> Failure in my computer. Failure. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So, how can we say that? ¿Cómo podríamos decir eso? Vamos a ver ideas. ¿Cómo, cómo fue, teacher? ¿Cómo podemos decir ese problema en English? Failure or my computer is failing. I don't know, teacher. You said something. My computer crashed, right? Crashed. Or failing puede ser también get frozen. Okay. It's Se congeló todo. Right? <laughs> Got frozen. <laughs> ¿Qué otra ejemplo, cosa? Failing. My computer um, ha dado el mensaje de error o de failure. ¿no? Oh, ok, then. Then in that case, you have to be specific. Uh, it, my computer, again, my computer is uh, giving or sending, right? Giving a failure message. Or puede ser an error message. Okay. Error message. Y si quiero reportar un equipo con, por ejemplo, los equipos táctiles, mm -hmm. cuando presentan, digamos, el error 1, 1 y 5, un mensaje como dice, no, 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 for example, the number. Muchos equipos me tiran el mensaje. Ajá, que de una vez le dan el código. Me da el código. Exacto, error uno. Es lo primero que le va a preguntar el de text support. Cuando usted le dice an error message, entonces le va a decir, can you read the code of the error? Okay, the error code. Y entonces usted le dice el error code. Si no, de una vez le dice, the error, the, for example, the C45 error, y todo lo la que da, verdad, the error, yeah, the whole code, yeah, lo pone al principio, el número, error message, one, code one, dijo, verdad, code one, error message. Si ya están codificados, ¿verdad? En el sistema de la compañía, puede ser que de un solo le salga ahí el código. Yes. Uh -huh. Correct. And with the touch device, did you say, oh, it's 1004, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We are off the clock now. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no quiero pasarme del tiempo porque ustedes también están cansados. Okay, you come from work and we want to be punctual. Okay. Pero al momento sí si se, se va comprendiendo, se va agarrando. Ahora ya solo es de práctica, ¿verdad? Ya mañana todos contestando el teléfono. This is Cecia. How can I help you? This is Cecia from Tech Support. How can I help you? This is Cecia from, or oh, this is Daisy from Accounting Department. How can I help you, right? This is David from Security Electronic Department. How can I help you, right? So we're gonna, uh, this is Linda from Caesar's team. How can I help you? Todos, por favor, en el teléfono. Okay, Mayra.
Ok. Ok, good. Bien, eh, ahora le toca el turno a... A Néstor. Ok. A Néstor. ¿Se va a quedar Néstor? Uh, Do you okay, have then. questions? Okay. okay, then everyone. So, have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good, night. good night. Have a good night, everyone. Hello, Pablo. Okay, there he is. Hello, Nestor. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I think it's a little stress. Oh, okay. uh, this week I have been studying for partial uh, university partial mm -hmm. in fact uh, when i start to the english class with you uh, have just finished the psychology oh. partial yes. yeah. okay okay how was it was it good oh great great okay great okay, okay good. are you getting yeah. a 10 yes. and uh wednesday i did the partial uh, english too Oh, okay. So you got yeah. a 10 already. Did you get uh, a 10? 7.7. Seven. Seven. <gasps> Why is that? How come? Okay, okay. Let me play. Uh, yes, please. Well, to answer the question, we have to put the, the capital letter oh. and at the end, the, the, the full stop uh, period. So I forgot to put the, the to put the pure at the end and two oh, questions. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't. Yeah, feel, I don't something feel elementary. You forgot. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, you feel not yes. good. Yes. Mm. We are seeing um, uh, both both uh, active boys and passive boys. Oh okay, active yes. and passive, and it it was present or past. Uh, both. Mm, okay. Both. Okay. Both terms. Yes. Good. So, uh, but kind of hard, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Kind of hard. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But at the moment, uh, with the module, can I help you with any question or that uh, you have? Here, I just want to practice things. Um, okay. Tell me about the. Um, the present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. What do you uh, want to practice exactly? Um, I mean, as you know, uh, I don't know if you have seen that. Um, to me, in my case, it's it's sometimes it's difficult to to ask questions. Uh, to to a structures. Okay. Uh, question. Yes. Yeah, so if. If you ask in Spanish to my co my classmate, uh, for example, con quien vive ella, example, mm -hmm. ellos, uh, they have to um, say in English. So, and I think we I need to practice. Uh, uh, I must. I have to practice uh, more uh, to how to ask questions. Okay, so remember that we have two kind of questions. That's the basics. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, basics uh, means that de ahí no pasa, okay? Solo son dos tipos de preguntas. Two okay. types of questions. We have direct questions, just indirect to confirm, and, and, and direct or information questions. 
Oh, okay. Information okay. questions. This is easier to get because the direct questions just require a yes or no answer. Okay. For example, if okay. I say, are you getting uh, tired? Okay. Yeah. Are you getting tired? Then I'm just confirming. I'm just confirming okay. because sometimes you have a lot of work to do in a place, maybe in your workplace, and I come to you and say, are you getting tired? I know you are tired, but I'm just confirming, okay? Are you getting tired? And if you want to say yes, an affirmative answer to stop doing the thing, right? Yes, yes. I am, okay? Or no. I am not, okay? So these kind of questions are direct questions. Entonces, okay. en esta no necesitamos poner una palabra de pregunta. A, war, a WH word question is okay. different, okay? Because yes. we use what, uh, when, why, Okay. Uh, how? Y hay muchísimas más, pero a este yes, nivel yes. que vamos hemos visto nada más hasta esto, ¿verdad? Uh, there is um, a word uh, that it is in common to use it. Which one? Um, home. Example, home. You get it? Home, whom? I'm... Oh, okay. Ah, yes, but that's different. Uh huh. Whom? Yes. Whom? Yes. Okay. Whom is uh, a quien, right? And okay. we have whose. Whose. Okay. Whose. También tenemos esta otra palabra. Whose. 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 Yes. De yes. quienes o de quien, right? Mm. So. Hasta donde vamos, hemos visto what, when, why, how, okay, yeah. and a, uh, where. It's the, the WH question common, right? Yes, these are the, the basics, right? Yes, the basics. Yes. For example, let, the structure here is that uh, if you see in the direct questions, you have the verb or the auxiliary verb because it can be any auxiliary at the beginning. Okay, at the beginning, you will find an auxiliary. In this case, we are using the verb be to form the present continuous, right? So okay, are yeah. you getting tired? Uh, so we have the verb be because it's the auxiliary. Then we have the subject, right? Yes. Then yeah. the ing verb form and then the complement. So here, Si ponemos esa misma pregunta, ok, yo la pondría en why, ok, why y solo lo único que tengo que hacer en la estructura esa que ya tengo arriba, solo le agrego el wh word, entonces mira cómo que, mire cómo queda, why are you getting tired? Yes, yes. Ok. Entonces, no hay nada más que cambiar, ¿verdad? Lo que hay que cambiar yeah, yeah. es el complemento, ¿ya? Okay. O el, el, el uso en el momento. Pero la, fun, eh, perdón, la estructura gramatical, the grammar structure, is almost the same, right? Okay. Auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the verb. It depends it, if it goes in the infinitive or if, if it goes in the ing verb form. And than the complement. But at the moment, we are talking about present continuous, right? Yes. So in the present continuous, we use B plus ING verb form. So Teacher, one, uh, it, it is the same present continuous, present is simple present continuous, it's the same, right? Yes, it is the same. It is the okay. same and it is also the uh, present progressive. Yes, yes, progressive. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay. Then, para contestar estas preguntas o para que usted darme una respuesta, always uh, focus in the word, uh, um, sorry, in the question word, in the question word. Entonces, si me dicen why, I will answer with because, right? 
Yeah. Because it's getting late. Yes, right. yeah. Because it's getting late. It could be a very good answer, right? Okay, here we are. Entonces, si mira cuál es la estructura, creo que vamos bien. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces, esto es solo para como ubicarnos. Ahora vamos a ver algunos ejemplos allá en los slides. Let's go to see some examples on the slides. Okay, in the okay. slides we have those we did tonight. Those exercises. Let me get there. Y cuando hizo el quiz online, ¿qué le pareció? Ah, excelente, teacher. Excelente. Okay. Okay. Um, porque eso es, um, eso es the practicing. Para... Yes. Yes, it's only practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, just showing you the complete questions. I'm sorry, the questions that we answered today. Let me share. Okay. Here we go. Here they are. It says, give a complete answer to the questions. Veamos la estructura. Siempre fíjese okay. en la estructura. Okay. okay. What is the structure? WH word? Uh, WH questions. O oh, oh, the answers. No, 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 no. Veamos primero la estructura. Okay. okay. Let's see the structure. W Grammar question, structure. Plus B. Plus subject. Plus bird ing form. Okay. And then if you have something else to add, it's complement. Okay. Yes, yes, the complement. Y siempre una pregunta pues lleva el question mark. Okay. That? Always. Yes, yes, at the end. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Here we have in the parenthesis some information. How to answer this? Do you want to say the question and then you say the answer? They are mm -hmm. singing. But primero dígame la pregunta y después me dice la respuesta. Okay. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. They are singing a song. Okay. Okay. So, ¿Sabe qué vamos a hacer? Le voy a prestar el control y usted las escribe. Okay. Okay. ¿Cree que puede? Probablemente sí va a poder con el lapicito. No importa que se salga. Okay. What? Are the supervisors doing tomorrow? Um, here. Ahí está usted, por ahí está. Dele un poquito más arriba. When, when are you having lunch with me, please? I'm having. Lunch.
Okay, okay, but mm -hmm. we we take the idea. Okay, I'm having lunch with the new clients next Monday. Okay, so this is the um, structure. So yes. Bye. Ahora usted va haciendo las preguntas. Okay. Usted me hace la pregunta y las decimos nada más, ¿ok? Number one. Okay. What are they doing? They're singing a song. What are the supervisors do, doing tomorrow? They're checking the inventory. When are you having lunch with the new clients? I'm having lunch with the new clients next Monday. Uh, what is your husband doing in the supermarket? Um, my husband is buying milk. Okay. Uh, what are you doing in New York next week? I am training the new employees in New York next week. Okay. Have a good trip. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and my dreams. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, I'll take you with me, okay? No problem. Okay, We're going okay. to go to train thank employees you, thank too. You. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you to invite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's, uh, well, these are questions, okay? Yes. So let's talk about some questions that you want to ask me using the present continuous. La que se le venga a la mente, hágame la pregunta. Okay. Hi, Uber. Hi, ever. Have you ever traveled into the United States? Uh, en ese caso, no es traveling, es traveled, okay? Ese ya es otra forma. Okay, ese es otro tiempo Have verbal. Uh -huh. Have you ever uh, traveled to, United to the United States? Well, actually, not in these days, uh, not in this month, not in this year, right? Uh, but okay. if you say, Have you ever traveled? It means any time, right? No. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes. I haven't. No, yes. I haven't. So yeah, you have a good pronunciation. So how do you do to practice in, I mean, English? I mean, uh, we live, we are living in a country, a Spanish country. Okay. So how do you do to practice in English? Well, uh, I learn English from, uh, you know, a very young age um my ambience or my surroundings were yes, in yes, english okay. okay we're in english because my yeah. parents are pastors oh, so yes yeah, so uh we received in my we, we received in our house um guests from other countries and we usually have to communicate with them in english so i learned okay. with native people that is why maybe it could be okay. a reason. Um, and after mm, I could I could tell you that maybe it was because I was doing like a simultaneous translation with them okay. in different projects with people. Yeah. So okay. um an evangelization. Yes. Um no, not for time. Um okay. uh just uh Church activities, right? Church ah, activities. Okay. Okay. Yes, social activities too. Yeah. And well, evangelization and um, preaching and everything related to my church. So uh, that's the place where I learn, um, where I practiced more than yes. studying it because I studied here uh -huh, okay. in Guatemala. I studied in oh, Guatemala really? too. Yes, I studied in uh, in the British in the British um, embassy. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I have some um, of the British um, vocabulary, right? Added okay. to my vocabulary because of that. Okay. And uh, my teachers were native too. Okay, we're, we're English speakers, uh, native English speakers. So maybe that was my advantage to pronunciate so, correctly. So how long, uh, 
uh, Arju, um, um, working as teacher and in that institution uh, in so far. Uh, did you say how long? Yes, yes. Uh, about um, from 2015, 2015 uh, to, to the date. Six years. Yes. So do you have uh, yes, but before you know, I was working teacher. for universities, so I have like, I'm, I'm about ten Which or eight years. Which university have you worked um, as teacher? I'm pedagogica in UCA. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I studied. Yes. Uh, I, right now I am studying uh, to with tech. Oh really? I yes, studied. Yes. I graduated from there. I graduated uh, from there. Oh yes. really? Yes. Oh wow. Yes, I okay. did it, and it's okay. uh, for me. It's a very good university. I love oh, yes, Utec. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. So, so it's good. So, but do you think in someday that uh, to travel um, another country to another country? Of where the speaking means. Yes, I would like to. I would like to. I have planned. Uh, well, I have envisioned going to a place okay. uh, to another country. Okay. Um, okay. But remember that for that you need a lot of, <laughs> of yes, different yeah. factors yeah, working there. So yes, yes. Uh, remember now I have a family that's like a stopping right. Mm. Yeah. but so, yes i would like to i would like to and if it is possible and it gets allows me to do it then i will do it <laughs> yeah so yeah. what about uh um the tofu uh what was your your grade uh not in the tofu not in the tofu oh. but then they um what is the other we did uh, other different um well there, there are tests. um toic yes toic and casas yeah casas and toic ielts oh, okay. ielts yes. uh yes, not yes. not yet not yet oh, okay. i'm on the way but okay. um right now so do you know that i did right casas now. and toic yeah okay so mm -hmm. do you know that right now uh do you take you have to at the end of the career you have to uh um approve study uh, to to the TOEFL yeah, if to you approve. don't pass you don't have a good grade to TOEFL you can graduate yeah but it is not too high it is like 400 I ah, think yeah, right? yes. it's it like is... um 50 person I think um no I think it is 450 50. right 450 yes yes yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, okay. something like that. Yes, but for being a teacher, you have to get more than seven hundred. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. The so um, it's really hard um to to study to the TOEFL for the TOEFL. Yes, it is. Um, yes, it is. Yeah. And besides, uh, it's kind of expensive, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, um, uh, do you know we have a um, fourth, um, um, how do you say, uh, com competencias? Uh, skills? To skills, okay? okay, skills, reading, writing, and speaking, reading, and listening. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, sometimes i have problems with listening oh yes uh, yes it's the most difficult yeah. part with speaking because both speaking yeah, and listening yes. are kind of listening. difficult yes. yes but you know yes. what's the what is the um, mayor obstacle that we have as adults learning uh another language as a second language uh, is that you want everything to be written and yeah. you want to read the thing to understand it because you think that's the way, but it is not the way. The way is imitating, imitating. Okay. 
but if if you start if you start just imitating then you are going to um get it then you're yeah. going to get it uh, um in my cell phone i got uh an app of listening it's a good great great app to um to listening the listening okay. to practice okay yes, good so you can listen to music too and watch movies in English without the subtitles and it will be yes. a very good practice for you and also watch videos on YouTube uh, listen to conferences related to your profession yeah it it opens um, a different um, um, it opens different concepts uh, yes, and also yes. you learn more about your career yeah if okay. you do that yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um yeah and this case the app is um when you put the, the when you play you listen a, a short uh, story some letter on to listen the short story um they uh show five uh question so you have to answer uh uh about the the, the short story okay so comprehension check yes yes yes, yes. comprehension okay. yes good good this is really nice and this is a very uh, nice conversation we have with two <laughs> yes 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 okay but yeah, yeah. okay it is 10 32 i think okay. uh if you have no more questions about module two no, not it's not, not it's not that i want to catch you okay thank you thank you okay thank you. uh see you tomorrow okay then then it's my um, pleasure. It's my pleasure. So let us meet tomorrow in the class. Thank okay. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Have a thank good you. night. You too. Thank you. Bye.